Have you ever wondered why, more than half a century later, we're still flying at the speeds of the 1960s? Today's airplanes are quieter, more luxurious, and more fuel efficient. Yet strangely enough, their speed remains largely unchanged. Have we really reached the limits of the sky, or is there something mysterious holding us back from breaking through? But hold on, everything is about to change. A bold team of engineers at Boom Technologies is rewriting the rules of aviation history with a machine that's designed to slice through the sky faster than the speed of sound. Introducing the Boom XB-1, could this be the leap that brings us back to the golden age of supersonic flight? Or will it fall victim to the same fate as previous ambitious projects that never took off? Join us as we dive into the groundbreaking moments of the Boom XB-1's first supersonic flight over the Mojave Desert. A high-stakes battle between cutting-edge technology, bold ambition, and the ultimate limits of the sky. So, is it possible to reach the speed of light in the air? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like, follow, and share for more incredible insights into the world of hypersonic flight. This journey is just beginning, and you won't want to miss what comes next. In just 44 years, the aviation industry achieved remarkable milestones. From the Wright brothers' first flight in 1903 to Chuck Yeager breaking the sound barrier in 1947 with the Bell X-1, humanity was pushing boundaries. By 1976, the Concorde made history as the first supersonic commercial aircraft, cruising at 1,341 miles per hour. However, by 2003, commercial supersonic flights ceased, and flight times between cities like New York to London remained unchanged. The Concorde, despite its technological brilliance, struggled with high fuel costs, excessive emissions, and noise pollution. It consumed 1.2 gallons of fuel per 17 passenger miles, generating 92.6 pounds of CO2 per passenger every 62 miles, far higher than modern aircraft like the Boeing 787 or Airbus A350, which emit just 2.2 to 33 pounds of CO2 per mile. Its noise levels were also extreme, comparable to standing next to a rock concert speaker or a chainsaw. The Concorde's operational costs, along with its environmental and noise issues, made it unsustainable, leading to its retirement. While it demonstrated that supersonic travel was possible, it revealed the challenges in making it viable. Since then, air travel has focused on fuel efficiency and quieter, more environmentally friendly planes. But the speed of commercial air travel has remained unchanged for decades. So, can we overcome the obstacles that stopped supersonic aviation in the past? As the aviation industry progresses, technological advancements are rapidly reshaping how we think about air travel. The development of high bypass ratio engine structures and natural flow control principles is expected to improve fuel efficiency by an additional 30% over the next decade. At the same time, aircraft noise has decreased by more than 90% since the introduction of the first jet aircraft. But is speed the only factor that has remained stagnant over time? Enter Boom Technologies. What began in 2020 as a small startup in Denver, Colorado, has now become a front-runner in the race to redefine supersonic flight. Boom Technologies took its first major step towards revolutionizing commercial aviation by unveiling the XB-1 Overture, their first prototype of a private supersonic aircraft. Did you know that the prototype has an intriguing nickname? Baby Boom, this aircraft measuring 62.6 feet in length with a wingspan of 21 feet, isn't just designed for speed but also for high efficiency and stability during takeoff and landing. The XB-1 Overture incorporates cutting-edge technology that significantly reduces drag and optimizes fuel consumption, making it an attractive option for the future of commercial supersonic flight. As of November 2023, Boom Supersonic has raised more than $700 million to bring this ambitious vision to life, a huge sum for a company still in the development phase. The project's scale is attracting major players from across the aviation industry. United Airlines, American Airlines, Japan Airlines, and even the U.S. Air Force have made strategic investments, with the U.S. Air Force contributing up to $60 million to help fuel this next-generation aircraft. This unprecedented backing reflects growing confidence in the potential of the Overture to not only revive supersonic commercial flights, but to push them into a new era. The Overture promises not only faster flight times, but also more fuel-efficient operations and significantly lower environmental impact compared to earlier supersonic aircraft like the Concorde. With continued investment from both private and military sectors, Boom Technologies is well on its way to challenging the status quo and could soon bring the world closer to a future where supersonic travel is not just a possibility, but a reality once again.
The journey of Boom Technologies began in 2017, when the company had just $51 million, barely enough to design the XB1 prototype and lay the first foundations for what would become the Overture project. But Boom had big dreams. With an unwavering ambition to reshape the future of air travel, the company quickly attracted capital from investors like the Neom Investment Fund and a range of other strategic partners. This influx of investment has allowed Boom to push their total capital raise to over $700 million as of 2023. The Overture, Boom's flagship aircraft, promises to revolutionize air travel with the ability to fly from New York to London in just 3.5 hours, twice as fast as current commercial flights. While that alone sounds remarkable, the real question is, how accessible will it be? A one-way ticket on the Overture is expected to cost around $5,000. Although this is more expensive than business class fares today, it's still a far cry from the legendary Concorde's cost of $112,000 for a round trip. Do you remember the iconic Concorde? Its 84-foot wingspan and massive 445,000 pounds weight were signs of its engineering marvel. Yet its immense operating costs and limitations ultimately led to its retirement. The Overture, however, seeks to solve the problems that doomed its predecessors, offering faster travel at a more accessible price point. And yet, it's crucial to remember that Baby Boom is just the first prototype. The Overture, designed for commercial use, still has much work to do before it can match or surpass the legacy of the Concorde. Boom's vision for the future of supersonic travel is bold creating aircraft that are both fast and efficient, while also making air travel more affordable. The Overture is poised to bring back the thrill of supersonic speeds without the extreme costs or environmental issues that held back past projects. What truly sets Baby Boom apart from past supersonic aircraft is the innovative technology embedded in its design. Unlike the Concorde, which had a nose that tilted downward during takeoff and landing, Baby Boom incorporates advanced technology with modern cameras and high-resolution screens that provide pilots with a much clearer view of the runway. This not only improves safety, but also makes the flight experience smoother and more intuitive for the crew. It's a significant upgrade over the technology used by its predecessors, an example of how Boom Technologies is redefining supersonic flight. Isn't that an incredible leap forward in aviation design? One of the most impressive features of the XB-1 is its use of advanced materials, which optimize both performance and efficiency. The fuselage of the XB-1 is constructed from ultra-light composite materials, making it 50% stronger than traditional aluminum alloys, while reducing the overall weight by 20%. This makes the aircraft more fuel-efficient, enabling it to achieve a maximum speed of nearly Mach 2.2 without the need for extra power or fuel consumption. The lightweight structure also improves its aerodynamic properties, allowing it to fly faster with less drag. But the benefits don't stop there. The reduced weight also contributes to better fuel consumption, which not only extends the range of the XB-1 but also allows it to maintain high performance without needing to carry an excessive amount of reserve fuel. This means less weight on board, which is crucial for both efficiency and operational costs. The ability to extend range without sacrificing speed or fuel economy could be the game-changer for future supersonic travel, addressing one of the key challenges faced by the Concorde and other supersonic aircraft. This version gives more detail on the specific materials used, and the at the heart of Baby Boom's performance lies its powerful propulsion system, which consists of three General Electric J855 turbojet engines, collectively providing over 12,000 pounds of thrust. These engines are a proven workhorse, having been used in renowned military aircraft such as the Northrop F-5 Freedom Fighter and the T-38 Talon, making them highly reliable and well-tested in supersonic environments. Did you notice anything interesting? While the J85-5 engines aren't the most powerful in the supersonic category, their role in the XB-1 is to help validate the aircraft's aerodynamics and flight systems with a target speed of Mach 2.2 and a range of over 12,200 miles. The J85-5's lower thrust capacity is ideal for the XB-1's prototype stage, allowing engineers to test its design and flight characteristics without the risk of overwhelming the system. However, while the J85-5 engines are crucial to the XB-1's current testing, Boom Technologies is already preparing for the next generation of propulsion. In the near future, 
the J85-5 engines will be replaced by Boom's self-developed engine, named Symphony. The Symphony engine is being designed in collaboration with a host of leading suppliers, including Kato's Defense, Florida Turbine Technologies, GD Additive, and Standard AO. This next-generation engine will offer significant improvements in efficiency, fuel consumption, and sustainability, pushing the limits of what supersonic aircraft can achieve. Symphony's cutting-edge design aims to make the aircraft more environmentally friendly while ensuring it can reach sustained supersonic speeds without sacrificing performance or efficiency. With Symphony in place, the Overture will be ready for full-scale commercial production, marking a significant leap forward in both supersonic and sustainable aviation. One of the most revolutionary aspects of Boom Technology's vision for the future of supersonic flight is the development of the Symphony engine. Delivering a tremendous 35,000 pounds of thrust, the Symphony engine is designed to improve performance while ensuring efficiency and sustainability. It offers 25% more uptime on the wing and 10% lower operational costs, making it an incredibly cost-effective solution for commercial supersonic flight. Most importantly, Symphony is optimized for 100% sustainable aviation fuel. This is a game-changer, as it significantly reduces the environmental impact of supersonic flights, which have traditionally been associated with high high emissions and fuel consumption. The Symphony engine is one of the most efficient civilian supersonic engines ever tested, marking a major leap forward in making supersonic air travel greener and more sustainable for the future. The engine also features cutting-edge improvements, including variable geometry air intake and exhaust systems that help regulate airflow and minimize energy loss. These advancements are key in not only boosting fuel efficiency, but also reducing the engine's noise footprint. Thanks to these innovations, the Symphony engine enables the XB-1 to fly supersonically, while significantly reducing the loud sonic boom that is typically associated with breaking the sound barrier. By minimizing shockwaves and directing them upward, the Symphony engine allows supersonic flights to take place without the disruptive noise that grounded its predecessors. But Symphony's impact doesn't stop there. Boom Technology's most ambitious project is the Overture, a futuristic supersonic aircraft designed to carry 80 passengers. With a length of 2,011.1 feet and a wingspan of 106 feet, the Overture is set to compete with the legendary Concorde. The Symphony engine, developed specifically for this aircraft, will include four engines, one more than the XB-1 prototype, allowing for a total thrust of up to 140,000 pounds. With the power of the Symphony engine, the Overture promises to bring commercial supersonic flight into the modern age, combining unprecedented speed with greater efficiency and lower environmental impact. This marks a pivotal moment in aviation history, where speed and sustainability no longer need to be at odds. The journey toward commercial supersonic flight is becoming a reality, and Boom Technologies is leading the way. The company is set to begin production of its groundbreaking Overture aircraft at its state-of-the-art super factory in Greensboro, North Carolina, in 2024. This is a monumental step toward turning the vision of sustainable, high-speed air travel into a tangible product. The first flight of the Overture is planned for 2026, and Boom's goal is to begin commercializing the aircraft by 2029, marking a new era in aviation history. History. As of 2023, Boom has already secured 130 orders and pre-orders from some of the most significant players in the aviation industry, including United Airlines, American Airlines, and Japan Airlines. These commitments underscore the growing demand for faster, more efficient air travel, and they reflect the confidence that major carriers have in Boom's ability to deliver on its promises. The overture will enable airlines to offer passengers faster flight times, improving efficiency, and providing a competitive edge in the global travel market. But Boom Technologies is not stopping with just commercial aviation. The company has also entered into a collaboration with Northrop Grumman to develop a military version of the Overture. This partnership is designed to unlock potential far beyond the commercial sector, with the military version possibly offering high-speed cargo transport and personnel missions, further expanding the Overture's capabilities. With the backing of key military contractors and investors, Boom is positioning itself to revolutionize not just passenger flights, but also strategic military aviation. With production ramping up and the first flight in sight, the Overture is well on its way to reshaping the future of flight, offering an exciting glimpse into the next chapter of aviation. Aviation. The path to the XB-1 prototype's first supersonic flight wasn't easy. It took years of dedication and intense testing to make this groundbreaking achievement possible.
possible. After careful planning and extensive preparation, official testing began in January 2024, with the primary goal of surpassing Mach 1 for the first time. This milestone was crucial in demonstrating the aircraft's ability to handle supersonic speeds and set the stage for further advancements in supersonic aviation. After approximately 10 months of rigorous testing, 11 test flights, and over 7 hours of airborne time, Boom Technologies achieved the unthinkable. On January 28, 2024, the XB-1 aircraft entered the supersonic corridor, soaring to Mach 1.22 under the skilled control of Chief Test Pilot Tristan Gepito Brandenburg. At an altitude of 35,219 feet, the XB-1 broke through the sound barrier for the first time, marking a monumental step toward realizing commercial supersonic flight. The significance of this event is hard to overstate. This historic flight took place at the very same location where Chuck Yeager, the legendary test pilot, first broke the sound barrier in 1951 with the Bell X-1. Jaeger's achievement was a turning point in aviation history, and now, more than 70 years later, the XB-1 has followed in those footsteps, ushering in a new era of high-speed air travel. This achievement serves as a testament to the incredible work of the team at Boom Technologies. It's a pivotal moment in aviation history, with the XB-1's success proving that supersonic flight is not only achievable, but also on the brink of becoming an integral part of commercial air travel. As Boom Technologies continues to make strides in commercial aviation, it's also setting its sights on the future of military aviation. Since 2020, Boom has been working closely with the U.S. Air Force to develop a specialized variant of the Overture aircraft designed for high-speed cargo and personnel transport missions. This collaboration aims to create a supersonic aircraft capable of fulfilling critical military needs, transporting personnel and supplies at unprecedented speeds, making it possible to reach strategic locations faster than ever before. This partnership could pave the way for a new generation of supersonic aircraft tailored for strategic reconnaissance and high-speed military transport. The possibilities are vast. Faster deployment of troops, quick movement of supplies in critical situations, and improved operational efficiency for defense missions. With the U.S. military's growing interest in high-speed transport, Boom's involvement could redefine how forces respond to global crises. The first prototype of this military variant could take off as early as mid-2028, marking a significant milestone in the evolution of supersonic flight for military use. With its advanced design and capabilities, this aircraft could dramatically improve the speed and reach of military operations, providing a competitive edge in tactical and strategic missions. Boom's collaboration with the U.S. Air Force not only reinforces the potential for supersonic flight in civilian applications, but also highlights how these advancements can benefit national defense. This is just one more way that Boom Technologies is shaping the future of aviation, taking supersonic capabilities to both the skies and the battlefield.